Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. I wanted to give you a little sneak preview of Tour de Mobile Flex running on iOS. So in June 2011, we'll be releasing an update for Flex that will allow you to build your Flex applications and run them on iOS, so iPad, uh, iPod Touch, and iPhone. We have this application called Tour de Mobile Flex currently for Android. It's currently in the Android market. You can go and check that out on your Android device. But I took a few minutes and was actually able to get that running uh, on using some early builds uh, of what will be delivering in June 2011 uh, on my iPod Touch. So I wanted to show that to you. So this application was built with the, the same exact code uh, that the Android version is built with. So I want to just walk you through this application and show you some of the stuff uh, running here on my iPod Touch. So let me go in and first show you some list stuff. What you'll see is that the performance of lists uh, is really great. I mean, the, it's really smooth, uh, looks really good. Uh, even complex lists, like ones with some icons in it, uh, still look, look really nice and, and perform really well. So that's great. Data entry controls uh, just are just the standard ones in Flex, uh, but uh, what's great is that it's going to use the, the native keyboard and even the native controls for text. So if I come in, uh, you'll see that it uses the, the zoom, uh, the native zoom there, and I can use the native copy and paste uh, the, for text uh, on iOS. So I don't have to do any special coding to make that happen. That just works um, because these applications are portable. Then things like stage web view allow us to pull up an HTML window uh, inside of our application. That works the same cross-platform, uh, whether you're on Android or iOS. Multi-touch and gestures, same thing here. You know, the performance is great, uh, and uh, this is going to work the same uh, on any device. Gestures, so being able to pinch and zoom, uh, that stuff works great as well. Uh, let me go in and show you the camera stuff. So what's great about this is that we have a, a single camera UI and camera roll API uh, that's abstracted from the different mobile platforms. So if I go and pull up the, the camera UI to, to grab a photo off of this, we'll see this is the iOS camera UI. So, oh, can't see a whole lot. There's my desk, not very interesting. But, but that's uh, the, the native camera UI, and I can select a, a, a picture, take a picture there, uh, and pull that into my Flex application. Uh, API works the same uh, on uh, iOS as it does on Android. Same things with camera roll. If I want to go select a camera from the, the camera roll, uh, we can pull up the, the camera roll API there uh, as well. So it's great for a developer to not have to change any code to be able to take advantage of those APIs. Uh, screen management, things like going full screen uh, are also fully supported there. I can go full screen in my application. Um, I can also, let me go back there and show you another one. I can show you the rotate screen. I can force this to go into portrait uh, or go back into landscape. Uh, and that looks really nice, performs really well. Accelerometers, of course, supported GPS. Local database, I can go in. You'll see some data that I've saved. This data is stored locally, so uh, you know I can synchronize data locally and, and save it down to the local system there. Uh, so that's that's really great, really easy to use. Uh, native app integration is cool. I can go open up the, the browser uh, from my application. You'll see it transition over to the browser, but then I can, of course, switch back to uh, the Tour to Mobile Flex application. It'll be right where I left off. Um, so you'll see the performance looks great. These transitions are built in uh, to, to Flex, uh, and everything really looks great and performs really well. Uh, this is an early build, uh, but you'll be able to get your hands on this stuff uh, June 2011 and start building mobile applications that work uh, on Android, iOS, and Playbook. Thanks for watching.